Welcome to the Basic Detail channel. Today I'm gonna try to find my creaking noise on my Santa Fe 2013. A few weeks ago uh, the car started to uh, make a, um, a kind of creaking noise at the front. It's hard to tell if it's the right or the left side. Um, when I, I stop, there is no sound, but when I uh, press the gas, uh, I feel a kind of creaking under the engine, the, the engine, sorry. Uh, it feels like maybe a um, sway bar, uh, maybe uh, the bushing of the sway bar are, uh, are worn out, but uh, I suspect the uh, sway bar link too. With the help of my tripod, I'm gonna film the right side to see if I can air something. Okay, so when I'm driving uh, in the car, uh, I really hear the sound coming from the bottom of the car under the, the engine or something like that but more in the passenger side. It's really hard to tell. But I try again to film the strut and uh, the passenger side, and I realize that there's a kind of spring noise. So I suspect now the strut, even if it looks great uh, under the fender. So now I'm gonna film this part is the up of the strut so if the bearing is bad and it's what I'm it makes the sound I'm gonna know it uh, like that if you wanna know how I jack my um, Santa Fe I put a piece on, of wood on my jack and I put it just right under the and I place the jack just under the subframe right there. So in this way I jack the car evenly at the front. on the left side so now I'm gonna test the tie rod to end at 9 and 3 o'clock to test if there's some uh, tie rod issues everything look stiff now we can take the tower to the bottom and the top and do the same thing to see if there's some ball joint issues. Everything look stiff. So now I'm gonna try to uh, simulate the noise again, but the both tire are not uh, touching the ground. so. The car is not under load, so we're gonna see if it changed something. The noise is not there, so we know that we need to be under load to have the noise. So now, I'm, gra I'm gonna try to inspect the tie rod the boot seems to be great there is no play on it now this part is the tie rod end I'm gonna try to wiggle it side to side 
to see if there is a play on the ball, the ball joint. The boot seems to be great. There is no leak or no cracks. My suspicion is about this sway bar. This one, it cross the, the car and it's the part radiate the strut at each side of the car. So this is the link kit. Uh, Sometimes it's the, um, the famous clunk, 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 when you hit some um, uh, pothole. In my case, it seems to be tight. To test the control arm, uh, the two bushing, there's one there and one there. Uh, I put the pry bar on it and just try to make it move. This side is pretty stiff. I'm gonna see on the other side. This one there it moves, but it's not obvious. It feel feel straight. I check the both side of the rear bushing because I want to compare how much play they got. The play looked similar at the both side, so I presume that the control arm is good. The struts looks great, uh, they're not leaking, this oil is because uh, it's an anti-rust uh, anti I put on. So at the beginning I was thinking that my problem was at the right side, the passenger side, but uh, what I found with uh, my search, uh, I found that every bushing on the tabs are good. The 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 ball joint on the the lower control arm is good. The link kit is solid. Everything seems to be great, except for this Tyradan. Look that excess. Play. I compare with the uh, passenger side and there is no play at all when I move like that. So this is the old part and this is the new. They look pretty similar. So I'm gonna install that. Now, what I'm trying to do is to um, put another jack under the low, lower control arm at the passenger side to, to put some pressure on the suspension of this side and see if I can hear the noise again. So I watched the video uh, when I turned the steering and I look at the sway bar there. When it moves up and down, I think it's the the noise is coming from. For, so I'm gonna try to just release this link, this sway bar. So I'm gonna unload this part and there is no pressure on it so we're gonna see if the noise is still there and if it's still there uh, probably the the problem is the sway bar like you see it's pretty solid but i know that those sway bar can be uh, worn out even if they not move i removed the top of the uh, link it 
the bottom is still attached to the sway bar, but if it moves, it's not under pressure, so maybe it's gonna be quiet. Let's see. The noise still is still there, so I'm gonna make the same thing on the driver's side. I'm gonna unplug the top of the link kit and completely isolate the sway bar to uh, any torsion uh, when I turn the steering. So I'm gonna uh, remove this option of my head uh, that's not the sway bar if, if the, the noise is still there. So now, the, all the weight of the car is on the bolt tire at the front and I completely remove the sway bar links at each side of the, of the, the wheels at the passenger and driver side. So now I'm going to try to turn the steering wheel and see if uh, the, the noise is, uh, is goes away. So the noise is still there, so we can delete the option of the sway bar or link it. This is a quick overview of what I check on the car. I check both strut, lower ball joint, teradin, teradin, lower control arm, link kit, sway bar, and every single bushing. I even check off camera the tire wear. Tire wear can indicate you a, a problem with your direction or maybe the suspension. But in my case, everything looks great. Off camera, I try to spray silicone spray on every bushing to try to lubricate them. Those are the points that I didn't check because the car is on jack stand and I didn't have uh, plenty of room to check that. I got nobody to turn the steering for me, so I think I'm gonna bring the car at my local mechanic. So now, long story short, I bring the car to my local mechanic he checked everything I checked and I was right. Everything are, was great. But he tells me that he needs a platform to check the car under and see if we can air something when turning the vehicle with the weight of the car on it. But in this case, he didn't have the platform, so I got to take the car on uh, another mechanic. So the second mechanic recheck everything and once again the front direction is on perfect con condition. But he tells me that he hears something at the back of the car. That was the rear right link kit. And he is pretty sure that what is caused the noise. So I bring back the car home to change the link kit. This is the old part and this is the new one. There is no play at all on it, and it's pretty easy to move it. I can feel that something is wrong with this ball joint. So I'm gonna replace the new one. Now that everything is tight, I'm gonna be able to remove the pressure on it. and put the wheel back again. So now this time I got a good friend with me to turn the steering wheel, but the noise is still there. So I bring back the car to the second mechanic and we talk about the historic of the car. I forgot to tell him that a few months ago my Hyundai local dealer changed the engine. Finally, he find the problem. It was the bolt of the cross frame. They tied the bolt, but they didn't torque them at the right spec. 
at the right side they were completely loose. So now I'm really happy and I learned a lot of this troubleshooting. I'm far to be a mechanic but I love to do things myself and I swear you learn a lot like me with this video. Thanks for watching. And please don't forget to like and subscribe if you like that. Oh